as a minister in August 21st, uh, 2019, we discovered there was no budget for the NDDC for the year 2019, and up to that September. So we submitted two budgets in November to the National Assembly. And it, it took quite a while until in April, the budget details were given out to the NDDC in April to end 31st of May, less than six weeks. And so there was a provision of 1.25 billion in the, in the budget of the 2019 for, for the forensic audit exercise. So basically what delayed it was the absence of budget, not the absence of the will. And then, of course, unfortunately, the National Assembly is right now on leave, and the budget of the NDDC for 2020 has not been passed. So to enable us to kickstart this exercise, not just kickstart, to enable us to move forward with this exercise and complete it on time, Mr. President graciously directed and approved that the payment for the forensic exercise should be uh, undertaken by the, but through the budget of the presidency. And so the first uh, amount that was approved for the lead forensic auditors was about 380 million. And then for this uh, second batch, uh, this first batch of eight forensic uh, uh, field auditors, it's, it's about 722.3 million naira. And then, of course, we expect in the next few uh, one or two weeks to conclude the field forensic audit uh, procurement by bringing a further seven to eight of them because of the number of years, 19 years, and that will conclude it. But earlier, Mr. President had uh, given an approval last year of an estimated sum of 2.5 billion, estimated. So everything that we are spending now will come from that estimated sum. And initially, it should have come from the budget of the NDDC. But because of the delay and the inability to pass the 2020 budget, uh, the entirety of the amounts that are going to be spent will come from the budget of the presidency. That is why we, we, uh, the delay occurred, and then we are on course right now. And so we thank Mr. President for not just the will, but for also undertaking to ensure the funding to make sure that this exercise comes to, uh, 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 to fruition because it will benefit not just the Niger Delta people, but it will benefit Nigerians, and it will also give direction to a lot of uh, agencies of government, such as the Northeast Development Commission, so that uh, the modalities will be well set out. And the job is not just uh, forensic auditing alone. I know forensic audit, as I stated earlier, is different from uh, statutory audit. Forensic audit, even audit statutory audit. Uh, because this one is done with a view uh, to checking whether there were issues of misappropriation, bribery, uh, corruption, fraud, or anything of that sort that could have militated against the success of the agency in the last uh, 19 years. And also, at the end, the involvement of Ernst and Young, the internationally and globally as, uh, recognized forensic auditors, will help us to set up modalities to avoid future fraud, and then also set up governance structure that will not only move the entity forward, but will bring much more benefits to the people of the region. 